Hello, this is your special education virtual content specialist with the 8th grade math lesson for May 24. This lesson, like all other lessons, can be found on Teach Hub. All lessons include the title, the focus question, the learning objective, including the standards and objectives for each lesson. We also provide guidance for using this resource, including instructional and technology guidance, implementation guidance for the lesson, guidance for summarizing, guidance for assessment during instruction, and general methods of engaging with students with disabilities and multilingual learners. Eighth graders are working on Unit 8, the Pythagorean Theorem and Irrational Numbers. Day 19, Applications of the Pythagorean Theorem. How can we apply the Pythagorean Theorem to solve problems in a context? The introduction is going to have students estimate values of square roots, and students are going to explain their reasoning. So you're going to have students circle which number is going to be closest to the actual value of that number that is given. Additionally, to support students with disabilities, you can give them a sentence frame so that they can put which number they chose and explain why they chose it. For this first situation, square root of 24, strategies may vary, but students can choose 5 because the square root of 25 is 5 and 24 is very close to 25. For the square root of 7, students may say 7 is just a little over halfway between 2 squared and 3 squared and that's why they would choose 2.5. For the square root of 42, students may say 42 is almost halfway between 6 squared and 7 squared, and that's why they would choose 6.5. For the square root of 10 plus the square root of 97, students might say the square root of 10 is a little more than 3, and the square root of 97 is a little bit less than 10. So by adding those two values together, they would get closer to 13. As part of a synthesis for the introduction, you may ask students to share their strategies for each of the problems and record and display their responses for all to see. After each student's share, ask if their chosen estimate is more or less than the actual value of each expression. For the Explore, students are given the following situation. Mai and Tyler were standing at one corner of a large rectangular field and decided to race to the opposite corner. Since Mai had a bike and Tyler did not, they thought it would be a fairer race if Mai rode along the sidewalk that surrounds the field while Tyler ran the shorter distance directly across the field. The field is 100 meters long and 80 meters wide. Tyler can run at 5 meters per second, and Mai can ride her bike at around 7.5 meters per second. Before making any calculations, who do you think will win? By how much? Explain your thinking. To support students with disabilities, you can give them a checkbox of which student that they're going to think is win. You can also give them a sentence frame as shown here, so they can... Say, I chose blank because blank. At this point, it's not important that students get the correct answer because it is a guess based off of the information that's given. As part of their response, students may say, Mai is going faster, but she also has a longer distance to travel. So students might think that she might be fast enough to beat Tyler, even if she is going a little farther. Likewise, students might say Tyler might win because he has a shorter distance. On this slide, students are going to work to determine who will win. You can give students a sentence frame, blank will win because blank. 
Additionally, to support students, the original slide did not give the context of the problem on this slide. So instead of having students go back and forth with the information, I provided the information that was pertinent to this situation on this slide as well. Students should say that Mai is going to win. Mai has 180 meters to travel, going 7.5 meters per second, which is going to take her 24 seconds, since 180 divided by 7.5 is 24. Using the Pythagorean theorem, Tyler's going to travel the square root of 16,400 meters, going 5 meters per second, which is going to take him about 25.6 seconds, since the square root of 16,400 divided by 5 is approximately 25.6. So Mai is going to beat Tyler to the opposite corner by approximately 1.6 seconds. An anticipated misconception is that some students may rush through reading the problem and mix up who is traveling which path at what speed. So it's very important that in this slide and the previous slide that you encourage these students to label the relevant distances and the information on the diagram and make sure that you are reading the situation aloud since students who both listen to and read the information will benefit from that extra processing time and they may be able to process whose speed is whose. For the summary, students are going to record their response to the focus question. How can we apply the Pythagorean theorem to solve problems in a context? You can provide students with a sentence starter so they can focus on the contents of their answer rather than the structure. For additional practice, students can do Khan Academy 8th grade Pythagorean theorem word problems, IXL 8-R point checkpoint, applications of the Pythagorean theorem, and the open up practice problems. This lesson, like all other lessons, were created utilizing illustrative mathematics and open up resources. Please use these resources to support digital learning for your students. If you have any questions, feel free to ask your special education virtual content specialist. Thank you.